Hey folks, and welcome to the Salty Seaman. Uh, now that I'm coming up on about uh, my two-year anniversary of being a uh, f more focused on the military channel here at the Salty Seaman, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of like look back over the uh, the videos I've done over the last two years and uh, kind of look at the things I you know wish I would have done different, mistakes I made, uh, just kind of uh, come out in the open with a lot of this stuff. You know, and you know, two years of comments have definitely pointed out a lot of these uh, these errors and issues. So uh, let's get right to it, shall we? Now, when I started, uh, just focuses on military. Once I realized, like, I had uh, a, a take on something that people wanted to hear, and, and that basically came off my uh, uh, reasons to, you know, tips on joining the Navy video. I did that in the middle of basically a cavalcade of just random stuff I was interested in. And of course, none of it really stick. And that one did, which, you know, when I retired and started thinking about what to do with my channel, you know, that, that stuck out. And that's why I, I started doing what I do. And, you know, first regret is like, I keep meaning to get around to, uh, you know, creating a new intro video since it's very, very out of date. If you go look at it, you know, not only am I clean shaven and skinny or relatively skinny, uh, yeah, it doesn't rec doesn't represent what my channel is about anymore. So you know, I, I took to making uh, I, I wanted to be informative and I wanted to get my opinion across, and I thought it was very important to do the both too. I mean, I could do a military journalistics type channel. I definitely I have the ability and experience. Sixteen years of Navy journalist and two years as civilian journalist. But it wasn't what I wanted to do. If I was going to do something, it had to be with my flavor. And, uh, you know, so it's always, you know, I always want to mix uh, facts and I try to do my research and, you know, give my oversight or opinion on said things. Now, over the course of two years, uh, all these videos that I thought were great, perfect, that's, you know, no way anybody can argue with this, of course, have been shot down, torn apart. You know, lots of... Uh, Lots of various things pointed out to me. Uh, a lot of times I don't agree with. Sometimes some I definitely do. Uh, one of the first ones I ever did, my very first military movie bullshit was Full Metal Jacket, which to this day is in my top five, you know, most viewed videos of all time. People obviously love it. It's a classic movie. I would completely do that bullshit differently. The way I do it now uh, is definitely a lot less. Uh, conjecture. I have a lot of conjecture in that video, and my point was basically, I was trying to get across that Kubrick inserted a lot of the worst elements of Vietnam into a two-hour or into the the Vietnam half of the movie, which just kind of paints just a very barbaric and war as hell picture. And I was trying to point out along the way, like you know, this wasn't common occurrence. This happened, you know. On occasion, it was rare, and of course, you know, no one gets to that point when you're doing a video. Everyone just wants to go, aha, you're wrong. There were Vietnam, Viet Cong uh, female snipers everywhere. Oh, you're a fucking idiot. Da, 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 da. And it's like, oh my fucking God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I shouldn't have said anything. I, I should have made one overall blanket statement instead of pointing out every time I was like, okay, he's going, he, he, he's reaching for specific incidents to turn into like a common occurrence is kind of what I meant, but, you know, things get lost in translation, especially when it comes to YouTube commenters, usually at 2 a.m., probably on something. I don't know. That's more conjecture, so I'll leave it alone, but I, I would completely do that review differently today. Uh, you know, going to my most popular video, uh, the tips on stol spotting stolen valor, uh, AR670-1. Uh, Army regulation for uniforms. A day does not go by. I do not get a comment from someone in the Army or someone that used to be in the Army telling me I said the name of their regulation wrong in the video. It's pinned in the top comment. My follow-up mailbag, I very, very specifically apologize and call it the proper AR670-1 title. And it doesn't matter because as soon as I say it wrong, people stop the video. They go into comment, let me know, and... Just being the smartest I am, I usually was like, oh, gee, thanks. No one's, no one's spotted that in two fucking years. Thanks. And, uh, well, geez, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Or they don't say anything. Again, just, I, it goes back to my Culture of the Armed Service video. 
uh, you know, it's just kind of the anal retentiveness I, I've kind of found the, the army to be. Uh, I don't know if I, I, I stretched that point enough on that, that video, but I should have. I'll get more to that one in a bit. But again, the whole video, I mean, obviously the, the audio is a problem on that video. It's coming out of one speaker. You know, I screwed up and you can't replace the video on, you know, once it's, it's up, it's up. The video is already, you know, by the time it like kind of came, came to my attention, you know, it was already blowing up. Like there's no reason, no way I was getting rid of that video. Uh, but yeah, I, I hate the audio is bad. You know, the lighting sucks and I'm trying to hide it. I hadn't figured out how to do lighting in that room at the time. So I ended up putting it in black and white, which everyone's like, why the fuck is it in black and white? It's like, I don't, it's, I, I'm hiding how bad, how shitty my lighting is basically. So definitely, uh, Definitely a video I would do differently altogether. I don't think I think the comp the content I would pretty much keep, but uh, production wise I would do a lot better job of it. My top ten military myths video. Now here's one I, I pretty much stick with. I, I I don't think it's wrong, but I probably would have left changed out Tun Tavern for something else because I didn't do my research on it. I was going by other people's research, which I believe to be true. That the myth of Tun Tavern is just that. It's a myth, but it's one of those topics that, you know, some crusty old Marine comes in in the comments every once in a while and just, you know, gets really butthurt that, you know, I dared say that their their holy place of uh, of birth doesn't, you know, never really existed, or at least not the way it's told in the Marine Corps. So I probably would just left that out because, you know, to, to fully defend myself on that, I would have to go into a lot more uh, detailed scholarly historical research which I'm not doing for this channel. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's one I would definitely change. Uh, people still argue, you know, everyone wants to argue every once in a while about fucking stress cards. And I'll, I'll shout it from the rooftop. They never existed at least. And then people want to argue semantics. Well, they gave out a tower for the chaplain. It was not a, it, what they, when they mean by stress cards was someone holds up a stress card and says, I'm too stressed out from boot camp, and they get a break. That is always what they mean by stress cards, period. They don't mean it's a, it's a number. It's a thing where you can get a chaplain number off of. That's not what they mean. That is the kind of stress card that everyone talks about and what I mean, and that never, ever existed in any boot camp ever. Sorry. Never, never, ever, ever, ever happened. No, no more than saltpeter ever happened. You know, no more than it says, you know, sailors and dogs keep off the grass. You know, they, they, it just doesn't exist. These are, these are made-up myths, and they just happen to, you know, permeate, and people just kind of you know, want to, cl want to cling to them for whatever reason. And then they want to argue with you and argue semantics. And this, it's what I get into a lot on, in the comments. And I don't always mind it because, you know, I learn a lot. Like sometimes I do, like, I, I honestly fuck up. Uh, you know, I, I did a whole joke video on uh, the movie Battleship. And I was just aghast, you know, making a joke that they say, uh, write full rudder instead of, uh, instead of starboard. And I just kind of drop the mic and just r walk away, like yelling. And a couple of point people who you know work more with uh, navigation and steering said, "No, nah, they actually do say left and right in that case." And I was like, "Oh, well, fuck me." <laughs> so that one's definitely my fuck up. It's still a funny video. I just I, I just wish it was more factually accurate. But yeah, those are the mistakes you make when you uh yeah. Some, sometimes you just you have an idea. Sometimes you're just talking and. It's always good to do your research, but occasionally, you know, you're, you're, everyone's going to fuck up. Uh, the video on uh, Sheriff Joe Clark, uh, that was done by, I had just got a bunch of requests for it one day because he was wearing some goofy-ass sheriff uniform or, uh, you know, uh, dressed police chief uniform, whatever the fuck he's wearing. And I, and I just, I gave my opinion. I said, I don't know how police uniforms work. It's, you know, calling it stolen valor is a little weird. And I explain everything that's true is like, I'm pretty sure he can design his own being the chief of police and all, you know, which ends up being true. And, you know, then after that, it becomes an opinion of how it looks. And I thought it looked goofy. Well, and it's pretty well explained in the video. But yeah, again, people, you know, there's the hint that you're attacking someone that's, you know, a representative of their side, quote unquote. They feel a need to uh, unnecessarily bash the shit out of you on, which I got. Uh, a lot of people bashing me and then repeating the same points I already made in the video, which tells me that they didn't watch it or they just have poor comprehension skills. So, uh, I mean, do it over again. I probably wouldn't do it. 
because it's just you know it it it, it isn't worth you know it just kind of wasn't worth the headache it really wasn't my lane but i was giving my opinion because i was asked you don't always have to give your opinion when you're asked you know lessons learned from there uh, and, and definitely one of the ones like the the cultures of the armed services video I did uh, I I stand behind and I, I really like that video the video is done very well it, it, uh, someone bumped it sometime like late summer you know it ended up being one of my top five videos it was doing good before that but you know whoever you are sir thank you or ma'am because obviously some, something like peaked that video at some point but uh, every once in a while some crusty old marine crawls out with zero sense of humor. You know, calls me a fatty and is all butt hurt because I called his beloved core cult, which it is. And actually, it's not even like half of it's not even Marines. The other half are like family members of Marines offended on their behalf. And I can say, okay, so if oh here, so for the reference, here's the joke. There's only two branches of the armed services: the Army and the Navy. The Air Force is a corporation, and the Marine Corps is a cult. I think I've had like one Air Force guy ever get mad about it. And he was like a security guy. So he's like, hey, man, I, I did real military stuff. Okay, dude, fine. It's a joke. Most most Air Force seems to take it, to, you know, as a joke. Uh, I assume most Marines do. Every, 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 every Marine I've ever told that joke to laughed. Because they know it's true. They know how crazy they go over their, their friggin', uh, you know, birthday ball. You know, the... You know, this weird worship of Chesty Puller and General Mattis. I mean, it's, you know, it's this, it, this stuff is scripture to them. I mean, it, they're a cult. They're a cult in the military. And it's, you know, it's fine. You know, I'm not bad-mouthing it. I just, I'm calling it what it is, a spade a spade. And it's it's funny. And every Marine in real life I, I've ever met laughed at it. But just every once in a while, just, I get that comment. I'm like, oh, man, seriously? Especially from someone who actually was a Marine. I'm just like, dude, you... I, you must have been a great fun at Marine uh, barracks parties. You know, you, you were the guy saying, you guys better stop it or, you know, the the, 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 the watch is going to come up here and break us up. You know, you, you were that guy, okay? Uh, so, yeah, the, I mean, the, the, those are some of the things, you know, over the, uh, yeah, the last two years, you know, that just kind of like, either I, I, I regret doing it, which is only a few. Uh, some stuff I wish I would have done differently and some stuff I wish I'd explain more. I don't even know how much how that would have really helped comments. As I said a couple times already, the comments don't always seem to watch my actual video where they, they'll just repeat what I actually said in defense of something they don't need to defend because I just said it. But, I mean, it's it's part of YouTube, and, you know, you just have to deal with it. You know, I always said I, I never wanted to be that guy that got too deep in his comments. But, you know, I, I go check my, my things every day, and I get my top three comments of the last, you know, uh, 24 hours and you know I I, I I feel the need to respond sometimes so and I read it so you know I mean you can't say you know when something comes up again and again on certain videos you know it, it makes you you have to stop and reflect like you know was that something I should have corrected or maybe that's something I should have clarified or maybe like man I just fucked the, I just fucked the pooch on that you know it happens so just clearing the air here on this little bit just to kind of uh you know, just just kind of say like you know, learn from your mistakes. You know, try to do better. Like I said, I've I've adjusted how I do military movie bullshit, and it's going to make another adjustment. You know, instead of just being, I, I know it's it, it's one of the more popular things on the channel, and it's fun. You know, pointing out military inaccuracies, but I, I'd like to do more, just straight reviews of military stuff, and not always just sit there and point out inaccuracies. Uh, been kind of thinking of you know, been a lot of requests for Generation Kill. And I think I'd like to do that as like a vlog series where I just watch an episode and then give my thoughts on it, point out any accuracies I see, which I don't think I will. You know, I'm not a Marine infantry guy and I wasn't in Iraq. So, I mean, like that there's, that there's a lot of a lot of material there. I just don't know. So, but, uh, you know, but it'd still be something fun to watch, maybe find the occasional uh, mistake and just, and just give my commentary on it. You know, that seems to uh, that seems to be popular as well. So, uh, you know, I might be doing that in the future, too. Speaking of, and the other thing I need to do is quit previewing things and then never doing them, which is I have a bad habit of doing. Or if I do, I get to it really, really late. So, uh, yeah, I, I saw the part two of Battleship to get done. And I'm I'm probably going to do it this week. And I shouldn't say that because then I end up never doing it. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that's all the Salty Seaman has for now. Uh, look for that review of Battleship part two coming up. 
uh, probably start doing uh, Generation Kill uh, whenever I get around to it. Hopefully very, very soon. And that's all I got for now. I love you, freaks. Peace.